over the years there there have been um, many people who have helped me uh, become the person that I am today. Uh, people who have nurtured me and cared for me and guided me in life and and it's because of these people that I am the person that I am today. Uh, over the next couple days I'm gonna be posting videos of of people um, who have made a difference in my life. Uh, people who may not even realize the difference that they've made in my life but um, I'm going to start posting some of these videos. Um, and uh, I just recently did one for Lori, but another person uh, who has had a major impact in my life is someone who you don't want to spill goober peanut butter on their counter. Um, believe me, if you did, it would be the last time you ever spill anything on their counter. It was a frightful, horrifying experience. I mean, this man takes his goober peanut butter very serious. And his name is William Bill Spate Esquire III. Or, I like to call him Bill for short. I first met Bill at a Waffle House. Uh, I'm guessing it was around 1997. I think that's when it was. Uh, I was interviewing uh, with him. Uh, I was interviewing. I was being interviewed by him uh, for an internship that summer at the Hickson Church of Christ, which is close to Chattanooga. Um, but I met him at a Waffle House one wet, cold evening. Um, and uh, I met, uh, along with him, was his bodyguard, Gretchen. She was there the first time I met her. Uh, of course, I wowed him that night, and he wanted uh, to basically hand over the youth ministry reins to me that night. Uh, but I suggested, because of my lack of experience in youth ministry, that he should probably just keep the youth minister position, and uh, and I would just be... Uh, his intern instead and I believe that's how it happened um, I actually typed this out so I'm reading it on my screen right there so if you see me looking up that's why um, I think the thing that I, I, admire, I admire about him uh, the most is the fact that we we both kind of grew up having our own daddy issues he had his daddy issues I had my daddy issues um, and and I can see in his life that he he has overcome uh, these issues. Uh, and as far as I could tell, his daddy issues never affected the way he fathered his kids. And being a dad myself now, I understand how hard it is to not make your issues your kids' issues too. But he mentored me that summer taught me how to minister to kids and how to be a man of God. He also taught me the best way to burn brush in the backyard is with matches and gallons and gallons and gallons of gasoline. Yeah. It's true, it really does work. Gasoline and matches burn very well together. <laughs> Oh, man. Good memories. I learned how to give uh, personal and private concerts at all hours of the night. I learned uh, the proper way to care for my jar of D. Uh, and I learned you should never lose one of his house keys. Because, brother, it's almost as bad as spilling goober peanut butter on his counter. Okay? Uh... And you should never try to wrestle with the kid next door. I think the kid's name was Zach. But that boy was rough. He was a rough kid. Uh, he will mess you up. I think I was being chased around the front yard by that kid. But uh, anyways, I'll share more of that 
when I do the entire spate family because that because that's going to be coming soon. Um, but I love Bill. Uh, he's a good man, and I respect him so much. When I think of him today, even though we uh, had some of our own issues that summer, uh, we have continued to be good friends to this day. Uh, I'm thankful that we were able to reconnect through Facebook, and I am even more thankful that uh, the, uh, the I don't even have a jokes will uh, be able to continue indefinitely. Um, Bill, you have made an impact in my life, brother, and I'm very thankful for you. Um, you are a father to me, and I'm thankful for that. Love you, man. Oh, uh, yeah, Ashley, Jill, Bill, uh, you guys are all tagged in this video. If you think of any more memories, I would love to. I would love to hear some of these memories. Let's keep, let's keep uh, some of these memories going. All right, see you later. Take care.